Ever since the first automobile, it's been all about road trips. So why don't we jump in our Honda, head to Warren, and check out some oldies but goodies. It's a one tank trip. The general public referred to Packard as America's Rolls Royce. Just an hour east of Cleveland, in Trumbull County, is the National Packard Museum. And yes, the Packard automobile was built right here in Ohio, in the city of Warren, by two brothers, W.D. Packard and James Ward Packard. From the get-go, Packard wasn't interested in building a carriage or a motorized carriage for the average person. Packard was after the wealthy class, the elite class, and Packard knew he could satisfy them. These cars don't look anything like a Model T. They don't look anything like the other vehicles that were being created in the day because the other people that were making them were focused more on getting them to roll and move down the road, and he was focused on that as well as durability, reliability, and beauty. In 1903, to prove the vehicle's reliability, a Packard called Old Pacific, along with two other vehicle manufacturers, started out in San Francisco, and they attempted to drive all the way to New York City. But, put quite simply, the roads didn't even exist. The Packard is the only one that made it that entire distance on its own power, on its own merit. It took them 63 days to do the journey. It was a massive undertaking. They had to be able to go through mud and riverbanks because we didn't have a, a road system like we know it today. Later, in 1903, production moved to Detroit, where there was a larger labor force. The Packard legacy of luxury continued. From presidents to movie stars, being seen in a Packard meant you were doing very well, and you made it. As you can see with this 1937 Packard right next to me, it is everything luxury should be. It has leather seats, it, it drips with elegance, it's got a lot of chrome, and you can see it compares very well with the Rolls-Royce Phantom that is hanging on the wall there. One of the most important cars that we have in our collection is this one on display here that was owned by billionaire Howard Hughes who bought it for his then fiance actress Jean Peters. The National Packard Museum has dozens of amazing automobiles on display. The years span from 1900 to the 1950s. It's really something to see and be proud of as Ohioans. The National Packard Museum is very close to Cleveland. We have a lot going on here all the time. We're open noon to five, Tuesday through Saturday, and one to five on Sunday. And at any given time, you might see even more than Packards because in January, we start our annual antique motorcycle exhibit entitled Roll Your Own. So I hope we see you here in the near future. And the best part is, it's just a one tank trip. David Moss, Fox 8 News.